All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to self-level over a concrete slab. So we're getting ready to tile here, but we have a massive drop off and this is not something you can fix with thin set or anything like that. So we have to get a couple buckets of self-leveling in here. I'm gonna show you a couple cool tricks on how to dam off you know, your sides to make sure that there's expansion gap there and everything like that. So let's get into the video and learn how to self-level. All right, so because my outside wall is made out of two by six wood, uh, it actually experiences expansion and contraction. So if you're tiling, you don't want your tile to be actually touching that bottom plate. I also don't want my self-leveling to be touch touching that bottom plate as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use this quarter inch foam like roll and run it through here to make sure that my self-leveling actually stops. So first thing we have to do is install this foam roll and then kind of caulk the bottom piece and then we'll go outside and mix our self-leveling. Let me show you a cool way to install this roll. All right, so I'm just going to use a hot glue and I'm going to do a couple dabs right here and there and then get this piece, put it on the ground and then kind of press it in. So keep it on the ground and then press that in like so and it will stick right in there. All right, so now that we got our uh, roll down here, what I'm going to do is just use some of my leftover adhesive, but you could literally use anything, silicone, caulking, ice cream, <laughs> not ice cream, but I don't know. So you can use anything and just kind of caulk that bot bottom seam right here, just like so. Again, just to hang out there and stop the actual um, self-leveling getting under there. Tell me which part of this you can't DIY on your own. Tell me which part of this is too hard for you to kind of figure out. I'm telling you, you guys can do this stuff at home. It's just uh, a lot of people are intimidated by it, but the process is so simple. So make sure that like, give yourself some credit and uh, just try to do some of this stuff at home on your own. You got it. All right, so this is what your prep needs to look like. So now it's ready for us to pour the self-leveler, then we're going to tile over that, and then we'll cut this uh, foam piece off. Uh, you could reuse the back side of this on the next project if you want to just roll this up and use it again. Um, but what we're gonna do now is go outside and mix the self-leveling itself. While we're doing that, make sure that you're smashing that subscribe button, you're smashing that like button, and just tell me how you like these videos, what we could do better in these videos. I would really, really appreciate that feedback. Because uh, we're going to be doing more and more videos like this. So let's, let's go outside. Right, so the consistency that you're looking for is kind of like a runny milkshake. Just like so. You want to make sure that whatever, read the back of the, the back of the bag. But then when it gives you those two numbers, go to the higher end of the numbers because you really want that thing to be flowing. If you're filling in a big gap, go to the lower end of that numbers first so that it's a little more dense at the bottom. And then the top layer will be more runny. So we're all set. Let's go in and pour this baby. All right, so we're getting ready to actually do our pour, but I wanna make sure I know exactly where this is as I'm pouring. So what I'm going to do is just grab a tile leveling clip that I have. I'm gonna put some hot glue right on the back side of that and then glue it down right here, just like so, and then grab my, my Sharpie and make a mark. So now I know that when I'm pouring, I want to get at least to that uh, spot. And then if you have different spots all around, the, all around the room or anything like that, do more of these so then you have a visual reference of, of where you're supposed to be. That's super helpful. All right, so just like tiling, before you actually do your pour, you want to make sure you hit the floor and the cement with a damp sponge, because there is some dust on here and nothing sticks to dust. But if you hydrate it, then your self-leveling will stick right to it. All 
All right, so we got our first bucket, and it's, we're just going to pour it. There's really nothing to it. Uh, I'm kind of going to pour right about here, so then it spreads like this. Don't pour it at the top, hoping that it comes down. Make it come back to the level spot. So let's go for it. All right, so now I'm going to grab just a random trowel and then kind of help it move a little bit this way, especially around the edges because it has like this little um, kind of kinetic friction source, sort of thing that you want to help it out a little bit. I am excited to check this out tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be laying our strata heat, our heat mat, and running the wire. So I'm gonna do a nice tutorial on that. And we're also going to check in to see how we did on this. So make sure that you're subscribing, you're hitting the notification bell, because tomorrow we're gonna to do another video. So hopefully you can learn something.